The Phuket Yacht Club, or PYC, on Ao Yom Bay, near Cape Penwa, held their first of this year's dinghy race series last Sunday, 25th of January. There were four classes of races, with different courses, the multi-hulls, large and single, small dinghies, and tiny optimist boats for the juniors. We started watching the ten juniors first, as they are the future optimistic stars of the sport, now growing in popularity with the PYC training courses run here. Philip here, already with six years of experience, was leading the race as we chatted during a lull in the wind. We are winning today. You think so? There's no one else near you. So how's it going today? Any, uh, any interesting event, uh, incidents? All easy sailing, plain sailing. What are you going to do now? Tack. What does tacking mean? You change direction to the wind. What? You go diagonally? Yes. Yeah. And which way are you going to go? Left or port or starboard? Starboard. Starboard. Is that right or left? Right. right. Okay. Show us. Thai boy nicknamed Tick, or was it Tick Tack, also seemed a natural sailor, coming as he does from Kosare School near the Sea Gypsy community. He was like a duck to water as he ducked under the swimming and boom, which would give most of us a headache. Another Thai boy, ten year old Nas Saron, perhaps destined to be a NASA astronaut, was blasting away in the weak winds. Okay. Jonas, half Thai and Swedish, was in two minds whether to sit on the side of the boat to get more leverage or stand up and rock the boat forward. Neither seemed to help as it limped towards the finish line with Philip well ahead already in the class. Yeah. In the third class of seven small dinghies, a youthful Thai woman, A, was laboring a bit in the laser boat and slack sail as she told us. So what do you think of this boat and laser? Why? Not good shape. Yeah. Needs a bit more wind. I need wind. Need wind. Need wind. Blow, yeah. The group were milling around trying to find the best breezes on a balmy hot afternoon. The race committee officials were anchored on a yacht in the middle of the races, watching for any funny business going on. In the second class of boats, Mia and Boo, two experienced winning sailors, were having fun for their first time on a taser boat. Oh, great, it's been fun. It's like the first time I've done it in years. But, um, yeah, it's great fun. I stay out of the water. Tell us about the boat. What type of boat is it? Um, this is a um, taser. Um, it's a personally made this good and made. We have a little cold for that and this. Um, we did have the taser world championships here two years ago. So, have you used a taser before? No, no, it's not that time. That's right. But is it similar to sort of the boats you grew up with, or is it very different? The boats I grew up on are killed boats and a lot bigger. Right. Much more stable as well. Is it more fun being on a smaller boat, perhaps? Yeah, it's a lot. A lot more feeling for it. And your crewmate? Who is this? Boo. Boo is famous. Usually on the bow, and now he's at the back of the boat for the first time. Right. <laughs> How much sailing have you done, Boo? Oh, it's not a thousand miles. A thousand miles? A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Oh, just a bit, yeah. <laughs> so you've done more than me, yeah. Yeah, we've got the ball, we have 40. <laughs> so who's the captain then? Oh, Mia. Mia, the skipper, yeah? yeah? Are you getting on well together? Yeah. We've got it really in a small boat like this, yeah? So how about the racing? How are you doing in the racing? Um, second and third. Second and third. Pella, Leonard and young Adrian, the only threesome crew, were re regretting their extra weight on board. What's it like then? How's it going today? Uh, 
Ah, we came second uh, to the first place and fourth. Second place. Fourth and second, yeah. We all right. need to go a little bit heavier more. Heavier? Yeah, we, we are definitely heavier. Yeah. How heavy are you? Well, uh, 90. 90 so kilos. Alright. Andrew and Mick were winning this class, leaving the others in their slipstream. Four pounds, yeah. Thirty-year-old design, Frank Lefkoe design, playing in game. It's actually said it's best today. <laughs> Better when there's a bit more breeze. Yeah. So, it's been a long time. Does it like to be like his name, slipstream, in the slipstream of other boats? Uh, no, 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 the big boys of the day in class one of four boats, like this trimaran helmed by Merv and John, were like giants compared to the small dinghies. Cathy was sunning herself with Simon on a hobby cat. Tell us about your boat then. Okay. Tell us about your, your boat. Oh, this is a hobby cat 16. Uh, did it go well? They go well, yeah. Well, we've, we've got two seconds. Two so seconds. Far. I don't know if everyone's claiming to have second places. <laughs> no one's admitting to a first, but they've all been second. Mm. So, there's his bug. Can do a little bit more reason. 62-year-old Robert and veteran Phil were on a 59er, certainly younger than them. This is uh, uh, a 16-foot skiff called a 59er, designed by the uh, skiff champion in the 90s, Bethwaite. Bethwaite design. Uh, it has been registered at 23 knots in wind. We haven't registered at 23 knots, but it has been. So why, is it, it's, uh, why is it called a 59er? It's called a 59er because the 49er, which is the Olympic skiff, was part of a sequence. And this one was for the more mature skiff sailor, as long as you're an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. <laughs> well, uh, we <laughs> which are the question. Yeah. Which are you then? <laughs> I'm the, the mature, mature or the... I'm the mature one. <laughs> Despite all the banter and jokes, they were still here for racing. Leaning out to gain some leads, bending around the boys, or buoys as Americans say, spinning up the spinnaker sails like this appropriate red on Chinese New Year weekend, and shifting their ballast or heavy bodies around to stretch their sails. It was just a small regatta at Phuket Yacht Club, but a good warm-up for some now off to the Pangar Bay Regatta this week. Life is certainly a beach for these lucky sailors.